welcome back folks back to here and real quick I have a left side light that is out on my HID system I suspect I know why but let's go ahead and check a few components out first first thing I used of course was my scope on a rope as they say check the fuses and you follow along with that and then I went and verified on the ohms reading what was going on with the ballast and then we made a decision based off of that. So follow along with me as we go through this process to replace these broken light. Does it work? Yes, let's see and see how we get there. But remember, I got a couple of bits of information for you. And that is I have the body control module and the fuses isolated. And as you can see on this diagram right here, I have them laid out for you. And on the next diagram, you'll see that we have fuse 16 and 17. I believe it is a right and left situation there. So we have the low beams and then you go to fuse 39 and that is your high beam. So we're going to check all three of those fuses out with that scope on the rope, make sure they work. So let's get started on this repair and get two headlights working on my Ford Edge so I can see further down the road. Now we're going to check fuse 16 and 17 and see if we have some power to it. So we're going to go right up here and I think as you can see we have light. So we have power going here for our lights. So that definitely checks out. So we go down to 17, same thing. We have some light, definitely checks. And then we can go down to the 15 amp. 39 I believe it is and we have light on that so uh, I'm gonna say that we have good fuses in here nothing nothing to worry about on our fuse for our body control module which is what this is right up in here so let's go ahead and check out our ballast and see if we got some power to the ballast but this is your uh, smart junction box as some people call it otherwise we call it a body control module and all we have to do to put it back in is get these tabs slid in here like so whoops gotta get these things slid in here then you just pop it in and then you slide this lock over here and it puts it right back into place so let's go ahead and check out our HID system up front on the left side and see what we go on because now we know our uh, fuses are good so let's move on now this is the ballast and this is the light that ain't working so what I did when I installed it I put it here as you see in the previous video we'll just go ahead and remove this pull this ballast out and here we have all our connections so another thing we got down here is a few other connections so before we declare this ballast dead we're gonna unplug all these connections check them out put a little dielectric grease on them and see if they work if they don't then we'll measure the power out from this ballast go into the headlight and see if that has power going to it and if it does then we've got to check the bulb no corrosion on this looks really good but we will go ahead and put just a little bit of grease this dielectric grease on there oh that's too much just want a little dab so we can plug that back in. And then we'll go to the next connectors, which are down here. Get a little something on it. And get it connected back up. Holy cow. Put it on my rag. They feel a little loose, so, you know, don't know. There we go. We'll disconnect this one. And it looks like it's in good shape. 
but we'll still go ahead and put just a little dab on the end of this connector here. Now those are the only one, two, three connectors we have. So let's go ahead and try the lights. We uh, went ahead and uh, did this. And then the next thing I'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, replace the ballast. But I'll check the power to the ballast first just to verify. And that didn't do it. We have no power. I'm checking the uh, ohms on this uh, old ballast. Let's see if I can't get it all situated here. Get it in the yellow plug. This is a little tough trying to hold everything. Let's see if we can't get something out of it. Let's see, 45.5 with this old one. That's the reading on it, folks. About 45, 46. It jumps around. 46. Okay, so you see what it's reading there. Now, let's go ahead and hook the new one up. That's the old one. Let's hook the new one up. See what we get out of it. I bet you this ballast is bad. So, let's see what our reading is once I get this hooked up. And again, we'll get that in there. This is tough. Go ahead and get it in there. And we got a 6.1. 6, 5, 9. A little movement on my part, but 6. So, any bets that this uh, old one is no good. Now you saw the new one, what it measured. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to plug this in and we'll see if we get some headlight uh, work in here. This is a brand new uh, ballast that we'll go ahead and install and uh, see after I plug it in if we have any light. So let's get that done. Go ahead and plug these wires back in. You can't mess this up. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty much a plug and play situation. But we'll go ahead and get these things plugged in. Situated right. And there we got it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights on. And then you folks can see if I have any light. Turn the lights on. Hello, buddy. And as you can see, I now have two working HID headlights. That's as easy as it gets. Hello. LG just got back from school. Say hi, LG. Hi. All right. Okay, bye bye. Well, as you can see, it was pretty simple. Just had to replace that bad ballast, and we verified it through our multimeter. And you could definitely see that the resistance on that was way off on the old one. So, got the new one in. Bulbs working fine, as you can see. So, now I have two headlights again when I'm driving down the road. This is Mac T, and remember, join up a Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. And also the Mac T Garage. Go there, check out where you can buy these HID lights. We have everything listed in there and adding more stuff daily for your parts for all your models and generations. So MacTGarage.com. Can't miss it. Go to it, check it out, and join the Facebook group to add on to any questions you want to have. And with that being said, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day too. With that being 
finished up, we have Mercy Grill doing a couple one-liners in the Band of One music's going to play, and maybe a little bit of bonus footage at the end. Again. Yes. No. All right. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. Remember to like and subscribe. We're in a little bit of the red line, right? This is a Mercy Grill production.